So are we going to Madison's party this weekend or not? Don't know if I want to. What do you mean you don't know if you want to? Not on good terms with Madison, babe. And why is that? Because I'm not down with bitches who are trying to steal my man, alright? What, what? Here, girl speaks the truth, bro. Madison is not trying to! Okay, who did you hear this from? Well, at basketball practice today, Kimberly heard from Megan, who heard from Tammy in drama class, that Madison was talking to Rachel and Courtney about you. Did you follow all of that? Yeah. No. Kind of, I think. Moral of the story, Madison watch your more magic stick, bro. Which there's no way in hell I'm letting that happen. I will gut a bitch, do you understand me? Relax! It's not like that with Madison. And how exactly is it, Jared? Why are you getting all worked up right now? Because I'm tired of stray cats trying to get with you, Jared. That's why I'm getting all worked up. You need to make these bottom-feeding sluts understand that you're already taken. Do I need to buy you a necklace that says unavailable? I mean, I could help. Are you trying to be funny right now? If it calms your ass down, then yes. Is there ever going to be a time where you two don't fight? No. no. Then why stay together? He buys me stuff. The sex is awesome. The sex is pretty awesome. Why did I even ask? Shit. Everybody be quiet. Guessing that's your mother? Hey, Mom. I'm just hanging out with Olivia and my friends. Yes. Jared is with me. He's my boyfriend. No. Mom, I'm not having this conversation with you. Look, I gotta go, alright? Whatever, Mom. Still hates me? Yep. So guys, what are we doing? It's getting late. I'm bored. Mom would be closed by now. Bowling alley closes in 30 minutes. The last showing of Anatomy and Monsters is in 20 minutes. I don't know. A movie on a school night? Well, that's all I got. Unless you can think of something better to do. Shit! That scared me. Is that Penny? Yeah, that's her. What is she doing out here? Probably sacrificing a cat or newborn baby. <laughs> Careful, she might hear you. Put a curse on you. Who cares? That bitch knows better than to even look in our direction. Anyways, I changed my mind. Let's go see that movie. I, uh, have to go to the bathroom real quick. Are you serious? Yeah, I'll be right back. Jared! Jared! You all know something, don't you? Not really. Sheila, we just want to go see the movie. Bullshit. Tell me what you know. Now. What do you want, Jared? How the hell did you know it was me? Can we wrap this up, please? I've got places to be. Heading off to a Wiccan convention? Anyway, I just wanted to say hi. Okay. You said it. Now piss off. Come on, Penny. Don't be like that. Go to the restroom and go home, Jared. Last warning. You don't tell me what to do, you're not my mother. If I was your mother, I would have choked you to death with my umbilical cord. Oh, shit, Penny. That was dark. What do you want from me, Jared? Huh? What? I just want to talk! Your girlfriend and the pesticide squad are here. Go talk to them. Hey! Hey! Speaking of which... What's going on here? Hey, babe. I uh, was just catching up with Penny. Since when are you two friends? We're not. So grab his leash and move the fuck on. Excuse me? Don't worry about it, Sheila. Let's just go. Oh, hell no. This bitch needs to be brought down a peg. Do you need a refresher on what happened the last time you stood up to me, Penny? That was then and this is now. So go, Sheila. Because you bore me. Bore you? Bore you? Sheila, come on. They've been out there for 15 minutes. We're gonna miss the movie. <laughs> that sounded like a little girl. At this time of night? Olivia. Okay, apparently the kid knows you. Well, I don't know them!
Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Alyssa? Your cousin? <laughs> no way, she's in Nebraska. That's her right there, Chris. She's right in front of us. Olivia! Sure. Yeah. Let's all get out of the car and walk towards the little girl from the ring. Not this chick. How is this possible? It's not possible because it's not home. There's no way. Hey, Chris. Long time no see. Shit. How are you here right now? Oh, uh, just on me. Chris. No way. Chris. No way. Aren't you happy to see me, Chris? You're not here right now. Why did you leave me, Chris? Why? Chris, who is that? She's nobody. Nobody? Nobody? I was your girlfriend before her, you piece of shit! Chris, you dated that? It was brief. I came to my senses quickly. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Do you have any idea what that breakup did to me? I loved you, 100%. You were my world. You were my everything. You suffocated me, you crazy bitch. I did everything I could to stay away from you. Well then. If I can't have you... Diane, wait! Chris! <laughs> Because your mother loved me more than you. You were such a disappointment. <laughs> That's it. Just let it happen. Isn't that the last thing you said to me before you killed me? Get off of me. I'm about to whoop this bitch's ass. We're going to the movies, remember? Let me go to the restroom and then we can do that. She doesn't know, does she, Jared? What is she talking about? Nothing. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. Did you really think I would let you get away with that? Penny, stop talking! Did you really think I would let you get away with what you did to me? You should have known this day was coming. Okay, somebody tell me what's going on. Right fucking now! New Year's Eve party at Jared's house. His parents were out of town. So were you. Your boyfriend has a thing for sophomores. High school sophomores. He likes drugging him too. Isn't that right, Jared? I thought I told you to stop fucking talking! You see, Jared, you might be able to get away with raping teenagers out there, but in here, that shit don't fly. Jared, are you okay? Are we paying attention? How did you do that? You know what's funny, Sheila? You still haven't realized it yet. Realized what yet? Where did she go? No idea. You alright? Just got the wind knocked out of me. What did she mean by saying you have sex with teenage girls? Total bullshit, babe! Now can you help me up? You're lying to me. I can tell. Sheila, relax. There were no teenage girls. I wouldn't do that to you. Jared! Jared, who is that? Yeah, Jared. Why don't you tell your girlfriend who I am? Jessica? But... But you're dead. Do I look dead to you? How is this happening? You can answer that later. Who is this Jessica to you? I'm one of his many conquests. He drugged me two years ago and had his way with me at homecoming. He got me pregnant. He what? He took me to a shady doctor to get rid of it. There was so much blood. That was really shitty of you to lie to mom and dad. 
You should have told them what really happened. Jessica, I am... Don't say it, Jared. Don't say another damn word. Hey, I don't care if you have or had a past with my boyfriend. He has his flaws, this I know. But he's mine, you got me? So turn around and get to stepping, bitch. Sorry, Sheila, but we can't do that. We? Jared got me pregnant too. Aaron? He got me pregnant as well. Me too. Jesus, Jared, couldn't you wrap that shit up? I feel so much better without it, though. Oh, what the fuck? How did that feel, lover? Oh, damn it, you little bitch! Oh, oh, oh. Jared, no! Where the hell do you think you're going? Mom, this, this is who you chose to date. This is who you chose your loyalty to. How many other young girls has this deadbeat gotten pregnant? Mom, please, I have to help him. What you need to do is you need to listen to your mother, you ungrateful little bitch! Oh. What is taking them so long? Great. You miss the movies, bowling, and going to the mall. Awesome, guys. Just awesome. How could you do that? You were my sister. You were family. Okay. I am tripping right now. I knew I shouldn't have smoked that herb before we left. How could you do that? I don't know person who ain't me because my brother right now is dead. I had my whole life in front of me. I had a good paying job. I had a future career with my band and you took it all away. Bullshit, Dylan. You took it all away by getting in my way. I was born first. Me. I should have gotten the main focus of mom and dad, but no. Fucking Dylan had to come along and ruin everything. I, he took all their attention away and nothing I ever did was good enough. So yeah, Dylan, you're damn right I took everything away from you, and I'm pretty damn proud of it! Now get the fuck out of my head while I wait for my friends to get back. <laughs> what are you grinning at, jokey smurf? It's just funny that you mentioned your head. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now wait a goddamn minute, Dylan. Oh, you remember the shotgun? It's the same one you messed with when Dad and me went to the firing range. <laughs> but you know what they say about paybacks. I said wait! Was it good for you, baby? <laughs> Please stop! Just relax, sweetness. It's almost over. Isn't that what you told us before you were done with us? Isn't it? Is that, is that all you bitches got? It's so funny. There's only one place left to hit, Jared. No! Sweetie, now get up so I can do what I should have done a long time ago. What are you doing? You're crazy! I'm completely sane, dear. I'm just gonna cut the umbilical cord. Now get your ass up! Mom? Mom! Penny? Looks like you're the only one left, Sheila. Your boyfriend is dead. Your so-called friends are dead. You're the only one who remains. Why? Why are you doing this? You've been messing with kids who didn't meet your standards for years, Sheila. I'm here to tell you. That shit ends today. Penny? Penny! Sheila? Hey. It's time to get up. You're gonna be late. Jared's waiting for you downstairs. 
Jared, he's alive. Unfortunately, I'll never know what she's seeing that boy. But anyway, get up and get dressed. You'll make the bell if you leave now. Okay. Mom? Yeah? I love you. I love you too. Now get moving. Yes, ma'am. Wow, that dream was intense. Penny? Sorry, Sheila. I guess it was pretty rude of me to do this. What? I'm, I'm afraid, afraid you're, you're still asleep. asleep.